Caroline. Brenda, take the bait. I didn't have a chance to talk to Brenda. Well, come on. The clock is ticking here. If you want to save Sonny the public humiliation, you better get the news out before. I know. I tried. I went over to Jason's apartment. I had every intention of telling Brenda everything I know about her and Dante. Robin wouldn't let me in the door. So what now? Well, I'm thinking Sonny needs to know that his blushing bride had a child with his son. And if I have to announce that in the middle of the wedding, then so be it. Forgiveness. I hope you're prepared to deal with the fallout. Sonny can get pissed at me all he wants, but he can't argue the truth. And I have all the proof I need. Well, you know, your case for betrayal is just a little weak when you consider the fact that Dante didn't even know he was Sonny's kid until after he got shot, and the thing with Brenda was years ago. Well, it's not like Dante or Brenda mentioned a word of this to Sonny. What would you do? I mean, if, if Lulu were marrying Dante and you had all this information, would you keep quiet or would you stop Lulu from making the biggest mistake of her life? If I wanted to stop my daughter from making a mistake, I would take the information directly to her. I wouldn't blindside her in public. It's not like I want to do this to Sonny. I don't. I don't want to humiliate him in front of his family and his friends. I was hoping Brenda would slink away before the wedding. I mean, that would be what's best for everyone, especially my son. This isn't even about Sonny and Brenda, is it? It's really about revenge against Dante. No, but Dante is an added bonus. I might want to consider switching to decaf. This high octane is not going to help those ticks. Not from the coffee. Oh. So what's got you boys so nervous? Nothing, nothing. Max, Sonny and I go way back. He's always been straight with me. Now, if you've got some kind of business that's going to come down here in front of my place, I want to know about it now. It's not business. It's the former Mrs. C. And whatever happens, just know it's for Carly's own good and being done at the boss's request. So play along, please. Well, I don't know. I mean, you're talking about my dear, sweet, adorable niece, my own flesh and blood. I couldn't, in good conscience, participate in anything that had to do with her without details. Well, the uh, boss wants us to... All you need to know is that we have the utmost respect for Mrs. He, who would never do anything to hurt her. Uh -huh. uh. What's up, Max? Uh, would you like a cup of coffee? No, I don't want a cup of coffee. I have things to take care of before the wedding, so what do you guys want? You, you can't go. I can't go where? To the wedding. I can't go to the wedding. Luke, did you set this up? Would I sell out my own flesh and blood? For the right price and a heartbeat. Well, I didn't. I have no idea what this is all about. Don't be mad at Mr. Spencer. It's Max's fault. He didn't mean you couldn't go to the wedding. Just say you couldn't go yet. Mr. C needs to see you first. I just saw Sonny. I know, but he said that he forgot to tell you something when you were at the house, and that it was very important, so. If Sonny wants to talk to me, he can talk to me at the pavilion, because I will be there. Really? Yes. Max, tell him to move. I'm sorry, Mr. C. What? Max! Max! Open the door. Put Max! Ow. Put me down! Luke! Luke! Do something! 